and a pleasant afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Overcast, South Carolina, here on the campus of North Greenville University. Today's matchup features the Cobras of Cobra, Coker College and your North Greenville Crusaders. We're happy to have you here on the Crusader Sports Network, and it's a, a real treat to be back in the booth today. This is North Greenville alum Sky Dupree on the call today, and we're looking forward to a great matchup. Uh, here for the second game of the year in Tigerville. A couple players to watch today for your Crusaders. On the offensive end, number nine, Thomas Sessery, and number one, Devin Napoli, leading the goals with 20 and 13 goals respectively. Those two have combined for nearly 50 points this year in just about four games. On the defensive side, senior Chris Weekhorse leads the team with 12 cause turnovers, followed by newcomer Lucas Yearwood making his presence known in Tigerville, taking away their, uh, causing 10 turnovers to date. And as we get settled here, those are the guys for you to watch on your end for the Crusaders. Number 41, Brady Hope, walking out to the X for your Crusaders. And number 42 for the Cobras. That is Emil Cantrell. Correction, Evan Harper. On the faceoff now. Yeah, as we get set for the first faceoff here, Hope controls the ground. Hope controls the clamp. Cannot win it to himself. As number two for the Cobras, Ethan Irizarry, picks up the ground ball, initiates the fast break for Coker. Coker with an early shot opportunity, can't get it through. Number three, Matt Murphy taking it across the crease, shoots high as the ball deflected out of bounds. Both teams quite young on the field today, looking at a mixture of juniors and sophomores, a couple freshmen mixed in. North Greenville playing with two seniors in right now, number 22, that's Taylor Lanzello, as shot wide there uh, for the Cobras. And number 33, Chris Weekhorst on the field. The in goal for your Crusaders is number 34, Terry Huffman, a freshman newcomer from Sanford, Florida. Here's Zeri taking the dodge down the left alley, shoots wide as the ball backed up. As he is met there by the, for the Crusaders by number three, Max Citrano. Shot taken there by number 19 for the Cobras, Cal Gibson. Cobras moving the ball effectively, trying to take a couple dodges up top early here. Now on the invert. It's number 45 for the Cobras taking the ball Driving to his right side. That's Dappin. Trying to throw a cross crease now. Here's Zeri taking the dodge. Rolls back to the middle. Shot and an early goal for the Cobras. After a long possession, shot clock winding down. A late, late shot clock goal for the Cobras as number two, Irizarry, rolled back and scored in the middle of the field. Crusader defense standing strong, playing well one-on-one. -on -one. Ultimately, just a last-minute goal going in there as the shot clock was winding down. Yeah, as we have Hope, and that is number 42, Jason McNeary, coming out of the X. McNeary pulling the ball there. Cannot collect the ground ball. Ultimately picking it up finally, getting it in as the Cobras reset. Clock winding down now to about 70 seconds on the shot clock. As you watch today, North Greenville will be in a combination defense where they are going to be sliding from the crease, hopefully up top, but in adjacent down low, forcing everything down the alleys. As Coker looks to get their LSM off the field and will settle in and play. Coker taking a dodge down the right alley. That's number six, Richie Timothy, shooting the ball out as the pass goes arid. And now th number three, Citrano, picking up the ball for North Greenville for their first clear attempt of the day. North Greenville clearing the ball effectively well, or very well this year, just about 81% on the year. Ball comes over to number 33, Weekhorst, the senior leader for that uh, Crusader defense. As the Cobras stop the clear there and force the turnover. Number two, Irizarry, Irizarry causing the turnover. He's met at the box line there by number seven, Colin Courtney. A veteran here, a junior. As the Cobras now look to settle down. 
Number six, Richie Timothy taking the dodge down the right alley. Sets and shoots. Score for the Cobras. As a team, North Greenville looking very, very strong early out. The Cobras taking advantage of a couple one-on-one -on -one matchups, getting a couple goals early here in the early goings of the first quarter. As we talked a little bit before the first faceoff, your impact players on the defensive end for North Greenville, number 33, Chris Weekhorst, who you saw on the clear. And now on the close wing, number 27, Lucas Yearwood, a newcomer here to Tigerville. He has caused 10 turnovers to date now. And as, as we have a faceoff violation, and that's on number, looks like number 10, Nick Robinson. Yearwood pressing Iridari. Here is Ari hard all the way down to the box line. Now the Cobra is electing to pull it back out. That's number four. Dominic Madlang moving the ball in as the Cobras move it down through the X position. Will Udy from Roswell, Roswell, Georgia on the ball down there as the Cobras move it back up. Number 45 for the Cobras taking a dodge down the right alley. Shot early save there for, the, or for North Greenville's number 34, T or Terry Huffman. As North Greenville looked to clear the ball again. Ball now moved up. That's number six for the Crusaders. Cam Webb bringing the ball over. And on into the defensive end. Webb taking the ball down. Now over to Napoli, who slows it down with Zambato behind. Zambato, a sixth-year senior, now at, at Fort North Greenville. A strong, strong player. And a staple of that man-up offense for the Crusaders. Number 35, Corey Long getting his first touch of the game for the Crusaders as the ball swings over to number 21, a senior, Brendan Sullivan. Crusaders getting their first look offensively for the day, starting out with the dodge down the left alley. No slide coming. Shot just a bit wide as it rang off the post, and we'll get a reset on the shot clock. A fresh 80 seconds now for the Crusaders as Zimbardo will bring it in and move his way to X. Dodge now up the left alley, the left side. Zimbato, a strong left-handed player, fighting through some checks. Couldn't find anything. Napoli took a look. Now the ball over. Moving it to Sullivan now. Sullivan over to Corey Long on the right wing, trying to take a dodge down the right side. A low-angle goal, a low-angle shot correction. As a goalie for... As a goalie makes a save, now pushing the ball up the field. The Cobras trying to fight for positioning. Cannot find it. As our first whistle of the day goes against North Greenville on the loose ball push. That's number 19 for the Cobras. Cal Gibson bringing the ball in. He was met there by Citrano. Citrano forcing the pass across. The Cobras now bring the ball up top. Early on in this game, not a lot of dodges from X or from the wings for either team. Number seven, Timothy, or number six, Timothy taking the ball down. Shot and saved by number 34, the goalkeeper for North Greenville, as he looks to outlet the ball quickly. Now in transition, this is number 22, Taylor Anzillo bringing the ball down, moving it across. We get a cross crease pass from Napoli, a little bit arid, as the ball was saved for a moment, a moment and then tipped out of bounds by the Cobras. On the quick restart now, we're looking at a second line midfield unit now for North Greenville. Consisting of number 13, Owen Ingram. And a couple of our newcomers as they come in. That shot just wide of the goal, now backed up by Zimbato. No Greenville second possession here, working hard. That second midfield unit coming in, making their presence known early with a very early shot. Ball moved over now as we look to dodge down the left alley. Big lanky steps, fighting inside. Shot saved there by the goalie. Now picked up by the pole for, Co or for Coker. Thrown back into the middle. Shot and score for the Crusaders. Number 13, Owen Ingram on the goal. A tremendous, tremendous goal there by the Crusaders as they took an early shot and the save was made. But flipping the ball back in the middle, a early, early, and a good chance for your Crusaders to, to score. Yeah.
Yeah, as we get reset here from the middle, Robinson again for the Crusaders and number 42 for the Cobras. Jamison McNeary now down on the X. McNeary controlling the clamp, can't pick up the ground ball cleanly and a scrum now with Yearwood as he takes the, takes the stick out of his hands. Yearwood looking for an outlet, now finds Webb as North Greenville controls the faceoff. Webb pushing down in, hiding a stick well, shot and score for your Crusaders. Evening the, goal, evening the game now at two apiece. Both teams taking early runs as the Cobras took two early goals from North Greenville. Now the Crusaders battling back in transition and off the broken plays. Back to the X now. McNeary on the faceoff for Coker. And that's Hope with his first violation of the day as the Cobras will take over the possession. Coker moving the ball around the, around the edge. Attackman there met by number 33, Chris Weekhorst. Now over to Irizé. Irizé moving over. Ball moved and now dodged down the right alley for the for the Cobras. He's met there by number 12 of the Crusaders, Landon Spooner. And now Spooner. Correction. The Cobras did not understand where the out-of-bounds line was at and an uncaused turnover back to the Crusaders. We coursed on the long throw over the top, trying to find Yearwood in the middle of the field. Overthrew him just a little bit. Cobras tried to pick it up, could not do it as the ground ball battled out, corralled by Coker. Aired pass moving towards the sideline, keeping it in there is the attackman for Coker. And now he runs Dax to settle the ball down. Citrano on the defense for, for North Greenville as number eight for the Cobras, Joe Venazio, moves it around and finally finds his man up top. This is number 19 for the Cobras on the dodge, taking it to the left side, trying to look in the middle of the field, couldn't do it. Ball down in the middle of the field as Yearwood flips it out. And number 43 for the Coker Cobras, Henry Haskett, corrals it. And the shot clock resets here. Moving the ball around, this is number three now, Matt Murphy for the Cobras, taking a dodge on number five, Will Udy for the Crusaders. Aired pass across the middle, save there. Uh, correction, save there made, but could not corral the rebound as the rebound trickles into the goal on the Crusaders. The Cobras move up 3-2 to two now in the first quarter. And a very offensive-driven and heavy game here. Both teams looking for their, for their first or second defensive stop of the game now, uh, either with a cause turnover or an unforced at this point. A new face-off man for the Cobras, number seven, Nolan DeBerry, now out at the X, facing off against Robinson, who pulls the ball forward. Robinson racing down the field, looking for a fast break opportunity. Corralled there, and back checked by the LSM for Coker. And the ground ball picked up by number 44 for the Cobras, Sean Bennett, as he tries to clear the ball against Cessary. Cobra is getting dangerously close to a failure to advance call as they push the ball just over midfield in time. And now they look to settle it as Murphy gets the ball and moves it across to Irizay. A whistle now as it looks like the officials are trying to settle out the clock situation. The midfield line for the Cobras, number two, Ethan Irizay, number four, Dominic Madlang, and number six, Richie Timothy now. Madlang coming across, taking an early shot in the shot clock, trying to bounce it high. Save the ball there by Murphy, who feeds it back across. Couldn't get a hold of it. Now picked up by Napoli. Napoli pushing the ball down the field hard for North Greenville, looking for an angle, a low, low angle shot. Backed up there by Webb. Webb bringing the ball in as Cessary sits on the crease for your Crusaders, one of our impact players of the game. Webb moves the ball up, looking for Corey Long. Shot, 
Just wide of the cage, backed up by Zimbato. North Greenville, again, doing a tremendous job during these broken plays. That time as Coker tried to sub out, North Greenville got an advantage, six on five, and we, they found Corey Long as the open man. Zimbato now moving the ball up the left side as the ball moves back to Corey Long. Both teams heavily midfield oriented as Long moves down, accepting the pick from Cessary. Long working his way in, fighting off checks, shoot, and scores. A flag goes down. The officials will work out the details of the goal here as we wait for their decision. Long doing a tremendous job fighting his way in. As he comes in, it looks like the officials are going to wave off the goal in favor of a technical 30-second penalty. And North Greenville will go on the man up. Our first look now at both teams' power play. Um, as we see North Greenville's man up offense and Coker's man down defense. By the look at Coker in a five-man rotation now. Correction, a four-man rotation now as they lock off Napoli in the crease. Cessary behind. we got Sullivan bringing it around, carrying Cessary moving the ball up top over to Corey Long. Now back to Cessary. Hands free. Shot. Low and away. Score for your leading score for the Crusaders. Number nine, Thomas Cessary. Tremendous job there on the man up for the Crusaders as they whip the ball around the perimeter, finding the open man and ultimately causing a lack of rotation there by the Cobra defense. As we're just about halfway through this first quarter here in Tigerville, it's number 10, Robinson, and number 42, McNeely, at the dot. On the wings for your Crusaders, that's number 12, Landon Spooner, and number 7, Colin Courtney, as McNeely corrals the ground ball for the Cobras. Number 8, Joe Venazio, coming up to get the ground ball. And now the midfield line consisting Now the midfield line consisting of Madlang, Dappen, and Haskett now out for Co Coker. That shot there blocked by the two men in the crease. Not sure who it hit, but the ground ball picked up by number seven, Colin Courtney. Moving the ball ahead to Spooner. Correction, that's Lanzillo who brings the ball over the midfield line. Now running the break with Weekhorse to his right side. And the Cobras do a good job getting back in and forcing a slowdown by the North Greenville Crusaders. Lanzillo moving the ball over. It's number two up top for the Crusaders, Matt Hayden. As the Crusaders now get set. Early on, Hayden taking a dodge now to his left side. Looking back, it's number 13 for the Crusaders, Owen Ingram. Taking a shot just wide there, backed up by Cessary. Cessary now working to his left side. Couldn't find an opening. Ball checked away there by the Cobra defenseman. And Cessary now in pursuit with the overpass. Coker could not hang on to the ball. As North Greenville looked for the quick restart, Zimbato bringing it in, moving it up to the midfield. Hayden now working to his left on the sweep. Looking back, couldn't find it. Saved by the keeper there for, for the Cobras. That's number number five, Chris Hagee, as the flag goes down. And the Crusaders will utilize this free possession and look for the man up. Number 43 now for the Crusaders on the shot. Steven Santrini. And the Crusaders have a fresh 80 to work with as the goalie got a piece. As Ingram looks for the invert, 
The Crusaders looked to throw it across the or across crease, couldn't find it. A last ditch effort there made by number 43 Santini to get the ball in the goal. As the Crusaders will now head up on the man up opportunity. North Greenville this year just now finding their stride on the man up as they are 25% on the year with uh, in the two la the two last two games being about 60% combined and one for one today. Moving the ball around, Corey Long now throws it to the top side as Cessary moves it across. Crusaders setting in what's to be or looks to be a 3-1-2 set as the ball moves around. Zimbato on the back side now reversing the rotation. Now up to Zambato. Shot score for your Crusaders as they take their first lead of the of the day, four to three over the Cobras from Coker University. An excellent job there by the Crusaders as Devin Napoli carried the ball to his left side, forcing a two on one opportunity, and Zambato with the finish. Yeah, as we look now for the eighth faceoff of the game, Webb on the wing and Yearwood flanking Robinson for your Crusaders, who will face up against McNeary on the dot. McNeary controls the clamp and every, as he sh runs down the field. Shot and save there by the goalkeeper for North Greenville as the ground ball controlled by Webb. Eating checks and, and body blows. He gets the ball up, looking for Yearwood, couldn't find him. Ground ball in the middle of the field now being played by both teams. Yearwood comes up with it for a brief second as he has it checked away, and Irize picks it up for the Cobras. Yearwood playing Irize now, ball down. As Irize looks for his teammates and ultimately finds it. And a timeout called by the Cobras. As we have our first time out on the field, we'll take a break with them. This is Scott Dupree on the Crusader Sports Network. Yeah, as we return to action now, Irize taking the ball for the Cobras. Matched up against Yearwood, working his right side. Irize gets a step on his defender. Yearwood looking for the back check, couldn't find it. Shot there made by the, by the Cobra attackman. As Matt Murphy scores his second goal of the day for the Cobras. Set play obviously there for the Cobras as they came out. And here's a initiate it as Murphy finishes the ball on the back side for the Cobras. A quick stat update for you. The Cobras leading in the faceoff department 6-8. to eight. Correction controlling 6 uh, out of the 8 
face-offs of the game, North Greenville winning just two of those. But North Greenville leading in the turnover department, turning the ball over two, only two times to the Cobras, five. Face-off one there by McNeary. However, called for the violation. As Spooner will pick up for North Greenville. As the officials reset, Spooner will bring the ball across the midfield line as, they, as the Cobras match up on all three of the Crusaders coming out. Corey Long now on for the Crusaders, moving the ball up. It's number 21, Brendan Sullivan. Number 35, Corey Long. And number two, Matt Hayden on the field for your Crusaders. Correction, that is number 24 for the Crusaders. Alex Brooks with the shot as Coker controls the ground ball. Four saves apiece now for each goalie with that last save by Hagee. Ball moved down now as the Cobras come down. Really playing strong in the cage for both teams as Huffman now commands his troops for the Crusaders. Udy forcing the ball up to Irize. Colin Courtney matching him there as the Crusaders are now man down on the substitution. Citrano playing hard on Irize. Ball moved across now. Number five, Udy matches up on the opposite attackman. Invert opportunity now on number 22, Taylor Lanzillo, as the ball moves up. That's number 45 for the, for the Cobras. Andrew Dape Adapin, saved there by the Crusaders goalie for his fifth save of the day. Crusaders now looking to clear. Today, just a little bit over 50% on the clear as we get another opportunity. Napoli picks up the ball and saves the Saves the play for North Greenville as we get another timeout. A quick stat update for you. Baseball here at North Greenville going into their second of the game of the day. Winning just 25-0 to zero in their first game. Softball in the top of the fifth inning. Leading Bar or Barton College 8-1. to one. This is Scott Dupree on the Crusader Sports Network. And we'll be back in a little bit. And the beginning of the second quarter now. Brady Hope matched up against McNeary again. Yearwood comes up with a ground ball control on the faceoff of the Crusaders, fighting his way through a barrage of checks from the Coker defense. Webb now clearing the ball over, clears midfield, and the Crusaders pushing the fast break now. Yearwood collects the ground, collects the arid pass. Thomas Cessary moving in. It's number 28 for your Crusaders with his first shot of the day. 
Kyle Bowman shoots and scores on the close side on the fast break opportunity. North Greenville taking another lead, 5-4 to four here in the opening seconds of the second quarter. Hope now matched up against DeBerry on the dot. Flank there by number seven, Colin Courtney, and number six, Webb, for the Crusaders. A face-off violation there on DeBerry. We'll turn the ball over to the Crusaders as Webb picks up. As North Greenville finally gets all of their midfield subs on. It's Ingram taking a dodge down the left alley. Unguarded, beats his man. Shot there, saved by Haggy as the ball goes out of bounds. And North Greenville retains possession. Number 17 for the Crusaders, Brendan Con Connolly brings the ball in as we see a dodge down the right alley. Ball moved down to the attack man, couldn't corral it. As North Greenville picks the ball up and will continue their possession. Shot it. Ball moved across on a quick shot there by Connolly. And the ball backed up. 63 seconds left on the shot clock now in this possession for your Crusaders. Number 40, Luke Davis getting his first touch and looks of the game. Now a dodge down the right side by Haggy. Correction, that is Ingram there on the shot for your Crusaders. And the ball saved by Coker. Now looking to clear the ball up the field. Bob Newt across, number 22 for the Cobras. Corey Gales bringing the ball across as he dumps it off to the attack. And Coker will look to get their offensive personnel on the field. Dodge down the right side now for the Cobras. Trailed by number 22. As an aired pass goes through the back side of the crease. Picked up by the Coker Attackman. It's number 3, Murphy on the shot. Good lift by number 5, Will Udy. As number 19 for the Cobras, Ryan Bass. Correction, Cal Gibson has the backup. Met at X by Citrano who moves the ball up. A quick, quick pass by the Cobras to number 8, Joe Venazio on the cut. Shot and a score there as they even the game at five apiece. Both teams moving the ball effectively well today around the outside and finding their cutters as we move back to the X. Colin Courtney and Webb on the wings again as Hope looks to win his third of the day. Ball controlled by DeBerry as he retreats to his defensive end. Good at, good pursuit by the North Greenville attackman, forcing him to move it back to the goalie, who now finds number nine, Steven Spurbeck, in the middle of the field as Coker clears the ball, effective, clears the ball into their offensive zone. North Greenville pushing way out. Almost box line to box line, midfield to midfield line. And as Citrano looks to t take the ball away. And number four, Nathan. Yeah, number four, Nathan Fisher has his backup. Citrano beat there by number 15 for the Cobras. Ryan Bass takes a shot just wide of the cage. And the Cobras will now set up in their six on six offense. Number 45, Andrew Dappen. Now taking the invert look on number six, Webb for the Crusaders as he rolls back, looking his, looking for his right hand. Ball passed across to Irize, taking a dodge now to his left. Met hard, heavy pressure by number seven, Colin Courtney. Gets his hands free, back check there by Courtney and sails the ball wide. Murphy to, to bring it in for the Cobras. Murphy today matched up against a senior leader for your North Greenville Crusaders, Chris Weekhorst. 
as we see a dodge now a sweep across no cutting back to his right his left side ball passed across now number eight for the for the Cobras Joe Venazio on the shot as the Crusaders now try to reset their defense for another go at it Hope McNeary at the dot. As Hope gets his third violation of the day. As he runs off the field for North Greenville. For any lacrosse fans out there. In the game now. The rule has been set for about four years. But anytime you have three face-offs in the same half. It is an automatic technical foul. For your team. And will send... The Cobras here on the man up opportunity. Their first of the day. North Greenville two for two on the man up in the first quarter as we get our first look at the EMO offense for the Cobras. Starting out in a 1-4-1 set, now breaking out. The Cobras moving the ball around the around the horn effectively. Number three, Murphy at X. Ears A up top, they're big shooters. Now it's Venazio bringing the ball around. Murphy moving it back to Venazio up top. Takes a look, couldn't find anything. Now finds number 43, a cutter for the Cobras, Henry Haskett, who finishes the ball in tight. In the first half, both offenses looking very, very strong, moving the ball well around the outside and finding cutters on the crease. Both North Greenville and Cobras and Coker's defense looking to find, looking to find their their groove today to effectively stop the ball as there's multiple substitutions coming on and off the field for North Greenville. And we'll have Robinson McNeary on the X. McNeary doing a wonderful job moving the ball out as we get a quick shot there as we get a stick a stick made by it looks like number three Citrano. Ball controlled though by Coker. As the ball start begins to continues to move, both offenses though going back, looking extremely, extreme, extremely strong in the ongoing. As Timothy will take a dodge to his right side, high check there made by Spooner, who trails him across the crease, loses his footing on the field, loses his footing on the field. But we get a quick whistle as the push in the back call is made, and now Venazio takes the ball outside the box and will restart for the Cobras. Officials now bringing the ball in. Venazio moving to his right. Getting our first look today at the pole number 19, Luke Modesto for the Crusaders as Venazio has the Crusader defense hung up and finds Dapper on the cut. As we're about midway through the second quarter, the Cobras take their largest lead of the day and the largest lead for either team of the day at 8-5. to five. And we get a quick timeout by Corey Struss, the head coach from North Greenville. And as they take a break, we'll take a break with you. We'll be back with you on the Crusader Sports Network.
Yeah, as we return to action here on the Crusader Sports Network, Brady Hope out on the dot, facing, up, facing off against DeBerry for the Cobras. Corey, Coach Corey Struss taking a chance on Hope as he already has three face-off violations on the day. Hope wins the ball back to himself as the ball deflected. And it looks like the Crusaders will retain possession. Webb now grabbing the ball and bringing it in on a quick restart. Matched up one-on-one -on -one with the attackman. And clears the ball for the new Crusaders. Now bringing it into the offensive end. Matched up against the pole. Looking for a dodge. Couldn't find any space. Now bringing it back out. Crusaders, number 21, Brendan Sullivan, one of their senior leaders, wisely slowing the ball down, moving the ball across. That's number 35 for the Crusaders, Corey Long, and now number 27. Ooh, correction. Correction, that is number 24, Alex Brooks, taking the pass from Corey Long and taking the shot wide there. 48 seconds for the Crusaders now to attack, bringing the ball up. Quick dodge there by number 28 for the Crusaders, Jimmy Ed Edmonston, correction, Jimmy Edmonston. And the Crusaders now looking to work the ball down. Shot there off the face, face mask of the goalie. Picked up and moved back to the middle of the field. Couldn't crowd the ground ball. As number 22 for the Cobras, Corey Gales brings the ball across and initiates a fast break. Moving the ball down, number three, Matt Murphy now looking across. Shoot, shot there by number eight, Venazio. Couldn't find it. Great save by the keeper for North Greenville. And the ball backed up by Venazio. Will stay with the Cobras. As he brings the ball in, a fresh 80 seconds on the clock for the Cobras to attack. And now they will get their offensive midfielders onto the field. Timothy moving to the ball now, getting it for the Cobras, and sending Venazio through. May be looking for a dodge, but he passes across now. To number four, Dominic Madlang, taking a dodge down the left side. Slide comes from Courtney, forcing the shot wide, backed up by number eight, Venazio. As Matt, number three, Matt Murphy, will bring the ball in now for the Cobras. Matched up against UD, Murphy working to his right side around, around the cage, working to X. Looks for a feed inside, couldn't make it happen, collects his own rebound. Now moving to his left. Ball moved up to number six, Timothy, now across. Timothy cutting through for Mad Lang, looking for the invert opportunity against number 35, Corey Long. Finally making his way to X, now looking to attack. Long matching foot to foot as the ball goes across to Venazio, trying to look inside, thought about dodging, could, thought about taking the slide, couldn't do it. Udy. Now on the ball for the Crusaders as the ball moves up. Cobra is moving the ball all the way to the back side with Timothy. Now taking a dodge down the left side. Looks back for Mad Lang. Takes a, a shot from 15 out. Couldn't bounce it into the cage. Shot goes wide as the Cobras back up. Citrano now behind. And that's number eight, Venazio. As Timothy now takes a dodge to the right side. Moves up field. Shot blocked. Didn't get through. As Courtney corrals the ground ball and a fresh 80, looking for the, for the Crusaders to clear. Citrano moves the ball up to Udy, now finds, that's number 22, Taylor Lanzillo in the middle of the field, and Corey Long stays on as the offensive personnel for North Greenville comes in. Corey Long slowing the ball down for the Crusaders, keeping the ball up top. As number two, Matt Hayden. Number two, Matt Hayden. Number 13 for the Crusaders, Ingram. And that looks like number 43, Citrani. Santini, correction, will run it out for the Crusaders. Ball have moved down now as, a shot, as the pass goes out of bounds and turned over to the Cobras. Goalkeeper for the Cobras looking to clear, taking the long pass over the top there. Knocked away by number 27, Yearwood, for the Crusaders. As Irize will bring the ball in for the Cobras. Working hard against Yearwood, tripped up. Couldn't find anything as he backs the ball out. Number 43 for the Cobras. Henry Haskett finds the ball and slows it down. Irize now taking the dodge to his right hand. No slide comes, shot high of the cage as the Cobras back it up. Flag down, though, as we will get our second look at the Cobra EMO 
in this second quarter. So Toronto, Udy, Courtney, Weekhorst, and Lanzillo in on the EMD EMD for North Greenville. Looks to be in a box in one set with a four-man rotation on the outside. Ball carried up now. UD retreats to cover the ball with Venazio behind as Lanzillo locks off the crease. Number 19 there, his first shot of the game for the Cobras. Shot just wide. It's number 19, Cal Gibson again. Here's a working weak horse in. Couldn't find any room. Mad laying now out. As the ball moves around, ball carried, passed off to Courtney. Courtney steps to it, couldn't find any room. Irize takes a shot way outside. Save there for number 34 from the Crusaders, Terry Huffman. Crusaders looking to clear on the man down now, moving the ball ahead. Hayden picks up the ball, makes a hard move as Irize falls to the crease, falls to the turf, correction. And that is number nine, Thomas Cessary, fighting for the ground ball now as the Crusaders look to get the ball and kill the penalty. As the referees blow their whistle, the ball will be come back to number nine and the Crusaders with a fresh AD on the shot clock. Crusaders in need of a goal here to break the streak of the Cobras is number nine. That's Thomas Cessary looks to move the ball in. He couldn't find any room, drops the ball, but that's number 28 for the Crusaders. Kyle Bowman picking up the ball and finishing on the broken play for North Greenville, finding the goal they needed. Now just trailing by two, eight to six, and to the Cobras of Coker College. McNeary and Hope waiting inside the circle for the faceoff as Webb makes his way to this close wing. Colin Courtney on the, on the far wing for the North Greenville, looking to find more success than they've had in the first quarter on this possession. McNeary controls the clamp. Couldn't get it out, though. Brady Hope does a great job getting it to himself. Ball checked away there by the LSM from the LSM from, Co or from Coker. Now as Irizay pushes the ball down. Irizay on the arid pass. Throws it out of bounds, and the ball turned over to North Greenville. Citrano looking to clear the ball quickly. Throws it across to Udy. Now pressured hard by, that's number 19, Gibson for the Co for the Cobras. He finds space, though, and gets the ball up. That's number 21, Brendan Sullivan for the Crusaders. Now moving the ball back to X. And the Crusaders moving the ball around now all the way to Napoli. As North Greenville looks to get their offensive personnel on the field, they will look to settle down and bring this game to within one. Corey Long now taking a dodge to his left side. No slide coming. Takes a shot. Saved there by the keeper for Coker. And Coker now looks to clear the ball quickly with the with their D mid. Napoli now trapped on side offside as he retreats. Coker looking to use the advantage. Murphy on the low angle shot hits the pipe. And the clock will reset. As Coker now works with a fresh 80. With Gibson bringing the ball back in, matched up against Citrano. Taking a dodge, crossed the cage, couldn't get Citrano tripped up, now matched foot to foot. Looks for the cutter, no angle there for Venazio. Venazio stutter stepping, looking back and forth, now looking for a cutter, couldn't find inside. Ball thrown up top, stopped by Timothy though. Hard poke thrown by Yearwood, couldn't find the mark. As the ball comes out, now controlled by number 45, Dapper, for the, Co for the Cobras. Dapper working his way in. Couldn't find who he was looking for as the shot goes in by number 19, Dapper. Correction, Gibson for the Cobras. As the officials sorted out, I would, I would think that they would take the goal off the board in favor of the push as Gibson landed in the crease before the ball hit the back of the net. 
And I believe that's what they're going to do. As they relay the call to the table, the the goal will be waved off as the score remains 9 to 6. In favor of the Cobras. Now getting our third look at their EMO offense in this second quarter. The Crusaders need to find a way to rotate a little bit more efficiently as they move the ball around the outside. Starting out in a favorite of many offen or EMO offenses, a 1-4-1. The Cobras now move the ball around with their big shooter, Irizay, up top and their senior leader, Matt Murphy, behind. Ball moving around the outside. Irize now moving it across. Crusaders rotating very, very well right now as the ball starts to carry. Now the pass moves up top. Couldn't find the cut or found the cutter correction. And the shot sent wide by number 43, Henry Haskett. Playing fast. The Cobras bring it in on the quick restart. Ball moved across now. Venazio tries to throw Venazio was looking for the crease man. End up finding Matt Murphy on the back side. And the shot there scored by number three, Matt Murphy. The Crusaders playing very, very well defensively during that power play early on. But on the quick restart, couldn't find Murphy. Lost sight of him on the backside pipe. And the, the Cobras take their largest lead of the day at 10 to 6. Brady Hope now matched up against what looks like what looks like DeBerry on the faceoff as he gets one more violation. And the Cobras will go on the power play once again. As we wait for the officials' call, it looks like Hope is lining up incorrectly as he gets set for the faceoff. And that continues to send the Cobras on the power play. Here's A up top now will bring the ball down for the Cobras. As this battered unit for North Greenville puts out Weekhorse course making a quick play for the ball, works his way in, couldn't find couldn't find the ground ball, picks it up very late, and draws the flag by number four, Mad Lang. A great defensive stand there by the senior leader for North Greenville, making the play, number 33, Chris Weekhorst, knocking the ball down and drawing the penalty, giving the Crusaders the opportunity to play five on five. As the ball moves up, field number 35, Corey Long will wait for the shot clock to reset and now looks to play five on five for the foreseeable future. With just 25 seconds left in the first penalty, the Crusaders will have about five seconds on the man up to play with if they so choose. Yeah, as Long holds the ball, it looks that they will opt to wait out the penalties and play their six on six. Now using the six on five advantage for a very short time. Napoli now moving the ball down across to Cessary. Cessary up to Long across now to that is number 20 Zimbato. Now evened up for the as the Cobras man comes back in. Long moving the ball, looking down now. Number 21, Brendan Sullivan on the invert opportunity, moving the ball across. Slide comes, moves the ball up top. Now over, that's number 28 for the Crusaders. Couldn't corral the pass. Bowman, and the ball turned back over to the Cobras. But both offenses still playing effectively well. A tremendous play, but number 20, Austin Zimbato, get the ball back. Now as, the, now as everyone crashes down, Yearwood taking a shot from wide and outside. Shoots and scores for the Crusaders. As they pull back within three goals, Yearwood, a tremendous shot over the top as the pull, low and away. Goalie for the Cobras had absolutely no chance to save that ball. 
as the pole is a very, very hard read for the goalkeeper. The changeup looks to be coming now for North Greenville. As number 30, as correction, that is number 43 for the Crusaders, Max Elvin. Correction, number 45, Max Elvin now taking the faceoffs. Flanked there by Spooner and Webb. As Coach Struss looks to delay any fast break opportunity the Coker Cobras may have. McNeary forced to go defensively to win the faceoff. Pressured there by Elvin looking for the takeaway check. McNeary moving the ball down, eating the checks of Elvin, gets the ball back up, and now the Cobras look to play six on six. Timothy taking an early dodge on Max Elvin, moving the ball down. Now that's number eight, Venazio eating checks and scoring for the Cobras, pushing their lead back to four. Coach Struss making a change on the faceoff. Forcing McNeary to go defensively. Just a little too aggressive would look to be for number 45, Max Elvin. On the dodge from Timothy and also on McNeary on the faceoff. As Elvin and McNeary will meet again for the second time, the Crusaders will look to gain control of this game by getting the ball and moving it into their offensive end. Short time on the clock now. Just 53 seconds left in the, in the half. McNeary looks to pick up the ground ball, couldn't do it. Picks it up the second time now defensively, thrown right to number number one for the North Greenville, Napoli, as he moves in. Timeout called there by Coach Struss, and he looks to settle down his offense. And the last minute of this second half, North Greenville takes their final timeout, and we'll take ours with you. This is North Greenville Lacrosse on the Crusaders Sports Network. Yeah, as we return to play, just a little under 50 seconds left in this first half as Coach Struss gets his troops out on the field, hopefully with a set play here. Yeah, as the Crusaders look to bring the, the Coker lead down to three. Corey Long now on the close side for the Crusaders, moving the ball back and forth. Number 24 for the Crusaders, Alex Brooks in the middle. And now a dodge looks to be coming down the right alley. Moving the ball back, that's Napoli on the back, or correction, that is Zambato on the backside passing to Napoli. Shot there saved by Haggy, and the ball thrown down to the offensive end. And that's the end of the quarter, ladies and gentlemen. With your score, North Greenville 7, uh, Coker College 11. As we come back in the third quarter, we will update you on some scores around North Greenville and some stats on the game. And we'll take a break now. And this is the Crusaders Sports Network.
Morgan Ellison, and today I'm here with the men's lacrosse head coach, Corey Stress. Coach Stress, thank you so much for joining me today on this beautiful day at Pepsi Stadium. Thank you for having me. So, Coach Stress, if you had to choose one word for your team to focus on this season, what would it be? Preparation. Um, just to be prepared for kind of whatever comes. It's, you know, weird, weird time. Uh, so we got to be prepared to adapt and overcome and change and um, but preparation comes from just you know knowing how we're going to practice that day knowing how we're going to you know scout for a game knowing how we're going to go into a game um, that seems to be the the theme for us so far this year is just to be as prepared as possible yes and with COVID it's kind of hard to be prepared sometimes it is so, absolutely yeah <laughs> So going to going into each game, what is something that you always tell your players before they step on the field? Um, you got to believe uh, before you step onto the field. You got to you know picture what you're going to do to help the team uh, achieve the goal for that day. Um, you know we always tell our guys you know before you go to bed the night before, start thinking about what you're going to do to help the team succeed the next day. Um, so I think it all comes down to the belief that. We're going to be able to compete with anybody, um, and it kind of goes back to the preparation side of things. If we're prepared and we are preparing with a purpose, um, there's no reason why we shouldn't believe in ourselves um, every time we take the field, uh, whether it's home or away. Uh, and we've done a really good job so far of just putting ourselves into a position to win. Um, we played number eight in the country to a one goal game. We played number five in the country to a three goal game. Um, obviously, we came on the short side of things in those games but I think it without the belief in ourselves and in the team and in, in general I think uh, you know we would have never had um, we, we would have never had the success we had in those games so um, we've got a young group we've got 24 freshmen of 45 guys so getting them to believe in themselves has been sort of the the name of the game yes absolutely so I think I mean you are such an encouraging coach and it definitely reflects on the field for your players um, because the way they play, they play so confidently and that definitely reflects on how motivational you are to them. Thank so, you. Um, absolutely. <laughs> so as a former lacrosse player, what is it about the game you just really love? Uh, I love it because anybody can be good at it. Um, you know, you, you just have to put the time in. You don't have to be um, this natural talent. You don't have to be this natural freak athlete. Um, if you invest time into the game, it's going to give back a lot. Um, and I've, I found that out through myself, through my former teammates in college, through my family. Um, you know, we're not the most athletic crew, um, but we've, we've been able to um, put in the hours and you, you kind of give, you get back what you put in. And that's, this game more than anything is sort of a prime example of that. Um, basically a return on investment mm -hmm. per se um, so if you're invested and you're gonna you know you're gonna see the dividends and uh, so that's been the best thing about the game I've I've been around it for about 21 years now and um, it's it's given me back so much more than I've even put in so um, that's probably the best quality of lacrosse awesome so also that does reflect on your program here so absolutely a lot of hours yeah a lot of hours. <laughs> yes yeah hey but um, it's a great thing yeah you know your hard work goes into your players and their hard work shows it does so yeah. absolutely so i understand you started help start the lacrosse program seven seasons ago mm -hmm. how has the program grown um obviously in size we've expanded the roster um we've we've kind of expanded the level of competition um you know we're we're in a great area here in the upstate where we can we're two hours away from playing a couple top 10 teams in the country so we do that um, so we've we've expanded who we play the talent that we play against um, I, I really think we play a top five schedule in the country every year um, and it's it's not been easy but it's it's a recruiting thing that I use is I, I, I tell our guys you're gonna you're gonna play against the best and I, I don't want to let them down in that regard so uh, we schedule a very tough uh, tough schedule every year um, but I think in the in the long run of things, um, we're seeing the the dividends of that play out. Um, guys are prepared to work their butts off, mm -hmm. um, not just here but in the yeah. workforce. Um, you know, we're it's been cool to see guys that maybe came through the door here seven years ago. Now they're 
they're getting married, they're starting families, they're, they're moving up in their careers. Um, I think that's a testament to some of the things we've been able to do and some of the qualities that we've been able to harp on here with our program. So, so you've, you've grown not only on the field, but also in life. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I did see on Instagram that y'all have a championship belt that you give to your players each week. We do. So um, what specific things do you look for in a player to earn that belt? So that goes to our practice player of the week. Um, and it kind of goes to, it's, it's open to anybody, freshman to senior. Um, it's just a guy who's made plays all week, a guy who's been an awesome teammate, um, maybe a guy who has stood out maybe in the weight room maybe in the classroom, um, you know, we, we always kind of give it to, you know, sometimes a non-starter, you know, usually around midterms time because we see the grades and we say, hey, this guy's really doing it in the classroom and he's been, a, he's been an awesome example of who we're trying to be as a program. So um, it, it, it can vary based on the week, but um, it, it's a guy that represents North Greenville lacrosse the most that week. And that's through, you know, grit, through, you know, athletic ability, but academic achievement too. Um, and so uh, it, it changes, but we're, we're pretty we, we're pretty good about figuring out that week, okay, this kid did X, Y, Z more than this kid. So, you know, we're able to, we're able to pinpoint um, the guy that represented our program best that week. So the coaches choose who most deserves it and not We like, do. Okay. Yeah. Hey, well, that's a great experience for them to work work to be able to get that recognition yeah yeah I mean it's a bragging right like to have the belt mean something and so um, we put a lot of uh, we promote it pretty good um, and you know social media is just one way to do that but um, yeah it's it's a bragging rights thing too I think it's funny because they always pose with it so. yeah they're they've got <laughs> some awesome poses they've been working on them in their I don't know, free time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Coach Jess, thank you for joining me today thank and you. giving me a little insight on this program that you have helped grow so much. Sweet. Thank so. you, Mary Margaret. Oh, of course. I'm Mary Margaret Ellison with North Greenville Athletics.
Yes, we're back now. And as we're back here in the third quarter, Brady Hope taking the face off there for your Crusaders. Ball picked up by number 27, Lucas Yearwood, pressured heavily by the by the Cobra defense, and the ball turned over to number three, Matt Murphy, now bringing the ball down for the Cobras. Citrano matching his attackman back on the backside. Couldn't get a step. Shot sent wide, but a flag comes down late as the Crusaders would have gained possession on the aired shot. Crusaders come out pushing heavily, looking to push the ball down on the fast break. Couldn't do it with Yearwood. Ball turned over there, and Citrano gets a little greedy on the backside. And number 19, Gibson, takes the ball in for the Cobras. Flag down. Not sure what happened on the play. As the official sorted out, a late flag came in behind the play. And now the Crusaders will have an early man down. Opportunity to kill here, reviving themselves from the first half. The Cobras today, three for three on the man up opportunity. Correction on that one, four for four on the man up opportunity. All in the second quarter. Ball moving around now. Murphy up top with Irze. They're two big shooters. They're leaders on the offensive side. Moving in, Murphy moving it now. Back on the far side, this number eight, Venazio, taking the low angle shot. Shooting and scoring high for the first goal of the second half. Now Coker leading 12 to 7. As Hope and McNeary will reset to the dot. Hope now running off the field for the Crusaders as Colin Courtney will match up against McNeary, hopefully to send him in a defensive positioning. Courtney forces the backside throw and as we go in. That late, that late flag thrown on number five, Will Udy. Correction. Throwing to number 19, Luke Mod Modesto. And that penalty is locked in. Flags thrown down on the offsides penalty by number two, Matt Hayden for the Crusaders. As the Crusaders now look to play even for the foreseeable future. Number 22, Taylor Lanzillo inverted behind with the Cobras attacking. Ball thrown through to Irize, matched up against number 33, Weekhorst, looking for the back check, couldn't find it. Irize taking a shot off the pipe. And the ground ball controlled by the Crusaders. It does look like the first penalty for the Crusaders released during that time period. And now they will serve the one-man down penalty, and Coker will go back on the power play. Moving the ball in, Venazio looking in, stepping now. Irze taking a hard shot from the outside, scoring low for the Crusaders. Correction for the Cobras. And Coker now taking the 13-7 lead. Over North Greenville early on in the third quarter. Hope now out for the Crusaders on the dot. Matched up against DeBerry. Flanked there by Webb and Yearwood. Who has been the this has been the most effective unit for North Greenville on the faceoff as Hope has been able to pull a couple of draws himself. And Yearwood has been a ground ball machine. Now they just need to be able to transfer it down to their offensive end. Ball pulled by DeBerry back. Hope doing a good job boxing out. Can't corral the ground ball. Finally does as he has it back checked away by DeBerry. And Coker now moving defensively. Will bring the ball back up. Pressured heavy by number 19, Modesto, for the Crusaders. Webb takes the ball out. It's speared there by number 22 from the Cobras. That is Corey Gales. As he recovers, he takes the ball down. Shot and score by number six, 
Webb for the Crusaders. Now just trailing 13 to 8 here in the third quarter. Webb, a tremendous job recovering from that last check by Gales. Gets up and scores as he dodges down the left side and places it by, low and away. The flag thrown waved off due to the goal as the officials sort things out and bring the ball back. Hope now on the faceoff. Faceoff controlled by DeBerry now for the Cobras as they move down. Barry fighting his way. DeBerry fighting his way in. Couldn't hold on to the ball. Flat correction. Correction. The official stopped the play for a push in the back. And the ball kept by North Greenville. Spooner now moving the ball up the field, looking for any light as a host of Cobras throw body checks and stick checks into him. Picked up there by their LSM as he is shoved out of bounds by the Crusaders who now take possession. Number 21, Brendan Sullivan picking up the ball for North Greenville, looking upfield on the quick restart, finds Corey Long streaking down the middle of the field. Shot high there for Long, backed up by Zimbato. Crusaders moving the ball fast, trying to find an, a broken play or a fast break opportunity to dive into to start chipping away this Cobra lead. Corey Long taking a dodge to his right side. Bounce shot wide there, backed up by Zimbato again. Hard fight for the out of or hard fight for the back up there. And Zimbato will bring it in with just over 60 seconds left on the shot clock. Pick there, Zimbato moving to his left side, switched on by the Cobras. Moving across now, Corey Long with a long outside shot. Shot goes high as Cessary backs it up and will bring it in. Cessary now one-on-one -on, -one on the backside, moving to his right side. Played heavily on his right side, actually, that is. And as he drops the ball, now moving it across, number 24 for the Crusaders. Alex Brooks takes a dodge, moving to his left, staying about 15 yards away from the cage. No good looks there out of it. Backs out, goes again. Down the left alley. Brooks draws a slide, moves it back to Corey Long. Couldn't corral the pass. Picked up by Sullivan. Sullivan moving it back. Attacking heavily on the left side, North Greenville. Now moves it in. Haggy with the save. Couldn't make it. Now collects his own rebound. And the Cobras look to clear. An ear, a, a late interference called made on the Cobras whether it be in the box or away from the play, but North Greenville will retain possession with a fresh 80 on the shot clock. Long now at GLE, working his way back, takes the pick from Cessary, and now the switch. Cessary on the short stick, looks to dodge, working to his right side, now moves left. Quick slide sent, Corey Long on the backside moves it down to Napoli, can't control the pass, picked up by the Cobras. Hard ride by the Crusaders, well played there by number 19, Correction, that is number 28, Kyle Bowman. And the Crusaders retain possession. Number 28, Bowman up top now with the ball, moving it down Zimbato on the right wing. Zimbato, a strong lefty, working to set up his left hand. Takes a dodge, gets his hands free, shot, and score. Top left as the Crusaders chip away on the lead, now trailing 13-9. A tremendous dodge there by Zimbato as he worked to his left hand, his strong hand, and placed the ball away, away from the goalie who could not see it. Hope, Webb, and looks to be Courtney coming out for the faceoff as McNeary moves in for the Cobras. McNeary done a very good job today, pushing the ball forward. An excellent job, you could say, as the ball is as he has won the majority of faceoffs he's been on. Hope now getting now gaining momentum late, pulling one to himself now. Couldn't hang on to his stick. Webb comes up with a ground ball, moving it a forehead. As the whistle blows, a withholding call as the stick got checked out of Hope's hand. Now the Cobras look to set it up. 
the officials placing every or placing the players in the place they need to be. Moving the ball back now to the goalie. And now the goalie looks to push the ball ahead. That's Dapper looking to control the ball. Couldn't do it as it goes out of bounds. Taylor Lanzillo, great pressure there. As the officials stop the quick restart with Napoli. Napoli moving the ball down now. A great job setting up his right, his left hand again. Didn't take it. Zambato moving back. Now Napoli up top. Shot low, saved five hole by Haggy in the goal for uh, for Coker. Moving the ball up, Gales jogging the ball up the field now. As we get our first offensive look in a while for Coker, as Irze moves the ball in, looks at the advantage. Shot now by number three Murphy goes in. As Coker played the three on, the four on three to perfection. Subbing, subbing error there for North Greenville as they did not have a midfielder back in the hole ready to play. Turns into a quick and easy goal for Coker, now leading 14-9. About halfway through this third period here, North Greenville looking stronger than they did in the first half, especially offensively, moving the ball around, just not connecting on certain passes. North Greenville out shooting Coker by about three, three to four shots but not getting it done. Hope wins the face off to himself as he pushes the ball forward. Yearwood is his backward outlet as Hope takes on a slew of Coker defenders. Now the ball checked away. Yearwood working to take the ball away from Coker now. Two or three Crusaders there as they force the turnover. That's number nine, Thomas Cessary taking the ball down the left wing. Now as he moves in, shot there, saved by Haggy. And as Cessary moved through the crease, Coker will take possession here in the third quarter. Moving quickly, Coker moves the ball up to Gales, who takes a shot there from Thomas Cessary. Trailed by Zambato, looking to make the play, couldn't do it. And now Gales moves into the box, running the fast break with a man trailing. Gales takes a shot, not sure what happened there, as the goalie from North Greenville makes the save. A couple flags come down, as the ball may or may not have crossed the goal plane and the officials sort things out. We'll wait for their call. Both teams doing a tremendous job in the second half, pushing transition, pushing some unsettled plays, not really looking to set up their offense except in a couple different areas. As the goal will not count, the ball will come out to the left side, to the left wing, and Coker will retain possession and go on the power play. UD Citrano, Weekhorst, Courtney, and Webb in for your Crusaders on the man down opportunity. As Coker begins to work the ball around into a smashed up 3 1 2 set, Irze up front, their big shooter. Now shot there, scored on, or not scored, correction, ball on the outside of the goal. Moved over to Webb, couldn't find it. Weekhorse recovers the backside. Now looking on the overpass, throws it. Citrano there, now back to Webb. Finally finds the man, North Greenville finally finds the man they're looking for as he moves the ball up the field. Webb, a one-man fast break, moving up the field, running past defenders. Now slowing it down, moving the ball over to Hayden. Hayden now moves the ball up top. That is number 21, Sullivan with the ball. Moving it back across Napoli, slowing it down. Killing the penalty as Corey Long comes out for the Crusaders. A technical foul call on the Crusaders, just 30 seconds, now ready to play at full strength. Taking a dodge down the left side of the alley. No slide coming, couldn't find an angle though. Ball moved back to Cessary. Cessary working to his left hand. His left hand got a back check there. Number 24, Brooks picked up the ground ball, but Cessary in the crease turns the ball over to Coker. Haggy now moving the ball up the field. Coker, a tremendous job clearing the ball today. Just a, just a hint over 90% with what looks to be another successful clear here. Is there all inside? No. Coker with an arid pass could not save the ball. And a failed clear. Turned back over to North Greenville. Number 35, Corey Long moving the ball quickly. It's number 12, Spooner up the wing now. Into the box and a successful clear for the Crusaders. And Zambato will slow the play down and get into a six-on-six -six settled offense for the Crusaders and North Greenville.
Moving the ball back up top. Looks to be Brooks on the far side, taking the dodge down the left side. No slide coming. Puts it back in his right hand. Tries to fake low. Couldn't do it. Haggy didn't bite. And the ball out to Gales. Takes a shot in the back from Corey Long. And the ball goes out of bounds. No call. And the Crusaders look to play fast. Cessary moving in with his right hand. Has it checked away. Ball turned back over to North or to uh, Coker. The play is stopped. As the officials sort out what's going on, it seems that Coker will retain possession. Correction. The ball will be turned over to North Greenville on a substitute substitution error by Coker. On the restart, Corey Long matched up against number 14. That's Brandon Blunk from the Co from the Cobras. Now number 20. That's number 28 for the Crusaders. Jimmy Edinston on the shot there. Couldn't make it happen. Coming back around, the ball moved up the far side away from the box for Coker. Spinning back is number 33 for the Cobras, William Pollock. As he fights through a host of Crusader checks. Some high, some on the back, some in there. And the flag goes out of bounds. The flag goes down as the ball goes out of bounds. Looks to be a slashing call called on or called on North Greenville. Not sure which player it was. As a host of Crusaders were attempting to get the ball away from Pollock as he crossed midfield. And the Cobras will go back on the power play. Irze now brings the ball in for the Cobras. As he moves it back, it's number four, Mad Lang, taking a, sh or taking a shot across the crease. That was intended for number 19. Gibson, but couldn't connect. Ball moved up the field and cleared for North Greenville. As this is number 28, again, pushing the ball in for North Greenville. Couldn't find it. And the Cobras look to clear now as the ball comes back up the field. Matt Murphy bringing the ball down as the successful clear for the Cobras. Settling in now. Hoping to get a last look here in the power play time. But a stoppage of play now. As we get a timeout from Coker. As we have our first timeout of this second half, we'll take a timeout here with you. This is North Greenville Lacrosse on the Crusaders Sports Network. And update from around Tigerville now. In the top of the fourth, North Greenville tied with Southern Westland. 1-1 one one in their second game of the day. North Greenville taking an early, early lead, winning their first game 25-0. And a good look for the Crusader baseball program. As we return to the action, North Greenville, a tremendous job by, there by number three, Citrano, cut, killing the man down penalty, forcing the ball across the midfield line. And Coker to reset with their goalkeeper down on the defensive side of the field. Ball moved across now as the Cobras, now number eight, Venazio, keeping the ball now. And the Crusaders now back to full strength, looking for their matchups. 
Irze holding the ball up top now. Matched up against Colin Courtney. Courtney moving down the left side now, following him. Ball moved back to him. As Irze takes a pick there, Courtney stays with him. Does a tremendous job on his hands. Takes a jump shot over Courtney. Couldn't connect. The shot sent wide left of the cage. And backed up by the Cobras. Weekhorse now matched up on what seems to be Murphy behind the cage. Throwing checks. Couldn't, couldn't connect there on the slap check. Murphy takes a dodge of the left side. Shot wide. And Venazio has it backed up for the Cobras. Ball brought in behind now. Cobra is taking a dodge from X. Matt Murphy looking for a feed. Couldn't find one. Throws it across. Irize now on the backside. Courtney bodies it. Bodies Irize. Continues to lift as Irize is forced to throw it back inside. Collected there by Citrano. Citrano moves the ball back to, the, to what seems to be UD on the far side. And it's redirected to Weak Horse who now moves the ball up and over with a little lob pass. All the way to Hayden. Hayden moving down. Eats a back check there from the Cobra defender. As he's un, unguarded all the way back to X. Looks to find a cutter on the front side. Big step down shot from the Crusaders. Couldn't find the back of the net. Shots in high. Yeah, as the Crusaders bring the ball back in. They begin to move the ball around the horn. One last substitution to get their offensive midfielders on the field. And they continue to move. That last shot by number 13, Owen Ingram, couldn't find the back of the net. And the Crusaders now working to keep the ball in play. Ball moved back, number 9, Thomas Essery with the invert opportunity, working his right hand. Slide comes, arid pass, and Napoli couldn't find the mark. Picked up by the Cobras. Moving up the field, it's number 3 for the Cobras. Correction, that is number six, or correction, that is number nine, Stefan Spurbeck, Spurbeck, not number three, Matt Murphy. Murphy now with the ball on the offensive end, moving the ball, sending Timothy through. Nearly double teamed there by the Crusaders, now eating checks from looking for the goal, couldn't find it, double teamed there. Now UD on Murphy, Murphy throws the ball up now. Number 45, Dapper, moving the ball up to Timothy, Timothy across. This is now number four, Madlock, Madling with the ball moving down the right alley. Couldn't find the mark. Moved across. Dapper now. Dapper moving across. Shot and score there. Yeah, from the shot from Dapper. Coker pushing their lead back to five goals. Now leading 14 to 19. Good defensive positioning by number six, Webb there for the Crusaders. Ultimately a very good shot there by Dapper hiding his stick from the goalie. The North Greenville goalie and scoring the 14th goal of the game for the Cobras. Hope McNeeny down on the faceoff. Hope pulling the ball to himself, looking to push the fast break. LSM coming in strong, couldn't get the ball off as it trickles into the goal. And the goalie collects the ball, ready to play. Coming out of the box, correction, that's an attackman coming across. Matt Lang picking up the ball there. Now moving it back to Timothy. Timothy, two goals on the day already, looking for his hat trick. Now moving the ball, matched up with number 22, Taylor Lanzillo. Lanzillo bodying Timothy early, couldn't find the mark. Moves the ball now into the crease. Shot save, shot save there by North Greenville's goalie. And then an interference called, made on the Cobras. Ball moved up to number four for North Greenville. It's Nathan Fisher now moving the ball down. Napoli with a quick shot for the Crusaders. He has the ball rung off of the stick. Brendan Sullivan collects it. And now we'll get settled into their six-on-six -six offense. Sullivan, flank now with the ball. That is long. And on the far side, as we take a dodge down the left side. Number 24 for the Crusaders, Alex Brooks, playing alongside Sullivan and Long. Now with the ball up top. Moving to his left side, left hand. Shot there, saved by the goalkeeper. 
and backed up by the Crusaders. A tremendous save there by the goalie from Coker who did not see the ball. I believe he saved it with his leg there. As Long will bring the ball in, looking to move to his left side, now sweeping across the field. Rolls back to his right, splits left, shot, say, shot wide of the cage there. I believe he got a piece, did not. And Zambato will bring the ball in. Now matched up against number 44 from Coker. That is Sean Bennett moving the ball up. Napoli across. Brooks shot way outside. Backed up by number 9, Thomas Essery. Short time now on the shot clock for the Crusaders as we begin to look in. Moving the ball across. Is number 35, Corey Long, the invert opportunity. Long moving to his right side now. Working. Shot pulled back high of the cage. Backed up there by number 9, Thomas Cessory who will bring it in just 48 seconds now on the shot clock. Ball checked away as the teams continue to fight for it. Finally picked up by Coker. And the Gilman pass sent wide as the goal, as the third quarter will come to an end. Your score, Coker 14, North Greenville 9 as we begin the fourth quarter. This is the Crusader Sports Network, and we'll be back with you as the action starts in the fourth. As we come back into the fourth quarter, a quick faceoff violation by the Cobras. Ball turned over North Greenville. Shot there. A quick goal by number nine, Thomas Cessary. Off the assist from number seven, Colin Courtney. Tremendous job by the Crusaders taking, a, a, taking advantage of the man up. The quick man up opportunity. Webb over to Courtney. Down to Cessary. A 1-2-3 goal there. Just a couple seconds into the fourth quarter. Hope McNeary back in the back of the dot facing off again here in the fourth quarter. Colin Courtney and Webb back on the wings for your Crusaders as Hope has found some some success. Not that time as McNeary pulled it ahead though and Weekhorse picks up the ground ball for the Crusaders. Crusaders looking to be determined here in the second half, set here in the fourth quarter as Webb takes a quick dodge and shot there. Saved by the goalkeeper and collected by the Crusader, collected by the Cobras. Ball moved up now by the Cobras on the clear. All the way down to Venazio, who comes up above the box line to collect it. Just about a minute in here, the Crusaders looking very determined coming out in the fourth quarter, scoring the first goal of the game, first, first goal of the quarter, now playing. And a shot saved there by the goalkeeper, Huffman, for the Crusaders. 
Weak horse on the far side, moves it back to Huffman in the middle. Redirects now over to Udy. Can't collect the pass. Pulls it down, though. Now makes a move on his attackman. Udy beats his attackman, moves the ball up top now. And a great catch there by number 22, Lanzillo. Lanzillo, who loses the ball, tries to hold on to it, couldn't do it. Ball checked away there by number 9, Thomas Cessary. The Crusaders will hold on to the ball now and get their offensive personnel on the board, on the field. Brooks now with the ball up top. Has Ingram. And one other Crusader on the far side. Comes in to chip away at the Cobra lead. Ball moves across now. Air pass couldn't be collected. Looked to be a tip ball, however. And Ingram will bring the ball back in for the Crusaders. Brooks now moving it across all the way to the far side. Now you've got Napoli one-on-one -on -one with his defender working the ball up top. Receives the pick from the Crusaders as the ball goes back around. Flag down. Zimbato trying to control the ball for the Crusaders. Couldn't do it. Withholding call stops the play. And the penalty will be enforced on the Cobras. As the officials sort out the penalty here, the, the Crusaders will be on the power play for the first time in this second half. Well executed in the first half. The Crusaders were two for two on the power play and will look to chip away at the lead now. Napoli now moves it back up and across now Long holds the ball for the Crusaders. Moving it back. The Crusaders working the ball, working the ball just barely around the horn now. As number 21, Brendan Sullivan gets his first touch of the possession. Long now carrying to his right side.
in the contest. We'll send Hope back out. Match up against McNeary. Webb and Courtney on the wings. As the Crusaders will look to utilize the advantage they gain, they had from the earlier penalty. The officials trying to sort out a timing situation here as we return to play. Hope with a hot hand winning the last four draws. Wins his fifth in a row now as he moves up the left wing. Passes back to, to Webb now. Moving the ball across. Courtney unguarded. Moves the ball down. One more. One more pass. Couldn't be corralled by number 20 Zimbato. Crusaders happy to slow the ball down now. Utilize the man advantage, what they have left in it. And then get set up in their regular offense. Long now with the ball up top. One last substitute coming on. And Long unguarded. Looks inside. Tries to find the guy at X. Shoots. Score there by number 20, Austin Zimbato. A tremendous look. By number 35, Corey Long, faking the shot, pulling his defender, and then finding the open, the open cutter, Zambato, from X. Crusaders now trailing 15-13 in the contest. The Crusader offense looking quite stagnant early on, and then moving on to play a little bit too fast has now found their rhythm, pushing the unsettled transition and settling down in the six-on-six six game. Courtney and Webb flanking Hope with a hot hand. Now with his first violation of the half, moves in McNeary. McNeary now running off, match there. And now Courtney's on. Irizay slips and falls. Courtney takes the ball away. However, the ball goes wide. Can't find it. Will Udy try to press Vizant? Venazio couldn't get it done, and now the Cobras look to run away. Timothy now with the ball, takes the dodge against Webb down the left side, stays in his right hand, shot sent wide of the cage. As it's backed up there by number eight for the Cobras. And they'll look to play. The captain there for the, for the Cobras now with the ball. Matched up against the senior captain for North Greenville. Moved up to Timothy. Timothy moves it over to Irise. Irise takes the dodge to his left hand. Courtney just to stick on. Shot there. Easy save by Huffman. And the ball turned over to North Greenville. Two attackmen on the goalie as it forces him to pass the ball over. Weak horse now up the field, couldn't connect. Now finds Spooner in the middle of the field, gets a touch into the box, and Courtney now settles the ball down for the Crusaders. Brendan Sullivan, the senior, the senior leadership for the Crusaders, bringing the ball up. Now passes over to Ingram, Ingram over. And now number 20 Zambada looks to set up his, strong, his strength on... Yeah, as we return to action here, Crusaders trying to clear the ball up the field. Number 22, Le Taylor Lanzillo bringing the ball up. Pass up there, number 35, Corey Long. Gets a touch in the box and slows the ball down. Under five minutes to go here. Under five minutes to go here in, Nor in Tigerville. As the Crusaders trail by two. Ingram on the field now. And number 24, Brooks with the ball now, moving up the left side. Takes a sweeping dodge to his left hand. Looks for the shot, couldn't find it. 13, number Ingram trying to find room to shoot there. Shot sent wide of the cage, backed up by Zimbato. Ball over to Brooks, back down to Zimbato. Zimbato, strong left-handed player, set up his strength all day. Works to his left side now, sweeping dodge, shoots. High of the cage, backed up by number nine, Thomas Cessary. Correction, number one, Devin Napoli. Ball brought in, Napoli dodging his left hand. Can't find any space, good defense there by the Cobras. Moved across, Ingram takes a look inside, couldn't find anything. Three minutes remaining in the game now. 
Ingram getting heavy pressure on the outside. Dodges his right hand. Back check. Good there for the Cobras. As the whistle blown, Cobras now moving the ball to the field. Picked off by number nine, Thomas Cessary. The Crusaders moving back down. Cessary moving quickly in. Looks to shoot. Score! Shot made there by number nine, Thomas Cessary. Bringing the Crusaders within one goal. As the Cobras lead now cut to just one. Brooks with the hot, Hope with a hot hand now. Two minutes left in the game. And back to the X we go. Crusader sideline, excited. As Hope maxes up against McNeary now at the dot. Hope with a hot hand here in the second half, winning seven out of the last eight. On the wings, Colin Courtney and number six, Webb, for the Crusaders. Hope wins the draw, wins the faceoff, pushes the ball back. Udy picks up the ball, face dodges his defenseman, now tries to redirect through the goalie, Huffman. Huffman over to the far side, that's number 33, Weak Horse pushing the ball up to number 21, Brendan Sullivan. Cobra's trying to push him out, couldn't find it. Colin Courtney now with a shot and score! Your Crusaders tie the game with short time in the fourth quarter. 15 to 15 now. Crusader sideline excited as the fans are on their feet here in Tigerville. Brady Hope stares down his opponent at the dot as the Crusaders are excited for their second defensive, defensive goal of the game. Scored by number seven, Colin Courtney. Lucas Yearwood on the wing awaits his chance to get in this game as Hope faces off against McNeary again. Score now tied for the first time since the second quarter for the Crusaders. Two minutes left in the game. Hope controls the, Hope controls the clamp and picks up the ground ball to himself. Moves the ball up now to Napoli on the wing. Pushes over to Webb. Webb in the middle field. Looks for a shot, thinks about it, didn't make it. Whistle blown there as the play on is called. And called off. Webb now with the ball. Thinks about taking a dodge. Tries to move to his left side. And timeout called there by Corey Struss. As the Crusaders will think about and talk about what they want to do offensively to take their first lead since the second quarter of this game. Two very different teams at this point. Coker, who scored 10 goals in the second quarter, now looking defeated, a little tired on the sidelines, and the Crusaders full of life and energy after tying this game at 15 apiece. As we look into this fourth quarter, the Crusaders have fought their way back. After giving up 10 goals in the second quarter, they've outscored the Cobras 6-1 in this last fourth period to, to keep the game in check. Thomas Cessary with a hat trick today, followed up by number six, Webb, with two goals. Number 28, Bowman, with three goals today as well, as well as the senior leader of that offense, number 20, Austin Zimbato for the Crusaders. No doubt Coach Struss in the huddle drawing up a play to get his offense an opportunity to score the final goal here to put the game away 16 to 15 for the Crusaders. Yeah, as they break the huddle, Huffman leads his defense back out onto the field. And the Crusaders will come out and possess the ball just under two minutes here in the fourth quarter. Looks to be Brooks up top of the ball as Long and Sullivan are on the crease, flanked there by Cessary on the close wing, Zimbato on the far wing. Brooks now with the ball, moving the ball across all the way over to Cessary. Cessary now moves it back around. 72 seconds on the shot clock, nearly a full shot clock to work with for the Crusaders. Zimbato takes one check, steps away, and pushes the ball up. As the Crusaders move the ball around, Napoli now matched up against his defenseman at X. Eats the check, tries to go through it, as Sullivan takes the ball, and Cessary takes a low to high elevator shot. Shot saved there by Haggy in the cage. Crusaders dropping back into their ride, looking to press the ball easily. As they move the ball up, Irize eats the check from Courtney, now moves the ball ahead. Stuck in the corner, can't figure out where to go. Double team there, Courtney, and 
Number 35, Long, doubling the ball. Irze gets out of it. Now met by Udy. Multiple checks by the Crusaders. As a timeout called there by Coker. One thirty left in this last period here in, in Tigerville. As the teams take a timeout, we'll take a timeout with you. This is the Crusader Sports Network. As we return to action, no doubt Coach Oliver has something planned for his offense. Has been highly effective here during the game as Irze brings the ball in. Looks to be Matt Murphy on the far side. The senior captain for the Cobras with the ball now. Irze back to Murphy. Murphy matched up against the ever incredible number 33 defensive personnel for North Greenville. That is Chris Weekhorst. Weekhorst now tracking his offensive player. Ball moved up to Irze, matched by Yearwood. Yearwood trying to force him left as he works his way right. Still playing his right hand heavily. Forces him right now. Roll back by Irze. Irze finds an opening in the middle of the field. Shot. Score there by the Cobras. Under a minute to go here in the fourth quarter as Coger takes a lead 16 to 15 on the goal from Irze. Hope McNeary heading back to the dot for what could be the last time of the last time today. As Hope has won multiple, multiple draws in a row now. Flanked by Courtney and Webb on the wings, who have been tremendous wing players, picking up ground balls for Hope. As they settle in, McNeary controls the draw. Thought it was a thought he had a face-off violation but couldn't get the pass back. Courtney controls. Heavy pressure there by Murphy, who slips and stops. Courtney gets the ball in the box, finds Webb. Webb with an opportunity. Accessory, one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. Saved there by number five, Haggy. Haggy moving the ball up. Now just, now just 20 seconds left in the game. The Cobras will look to run the clock out. As number 19 for the Cobras runs around. Chase there by number... 33, Chris Weekhorst, and number 19 for the Crusaders. Now back across, Murphy chased by Lanzillo. Lanzillo, desperation check time for the Crusaders, trying to throw it in, trying to find anything as the game comes to an end. A well-fought game by the Crusaders, who fell behind as the Cobras scored 10 goals in the second quarter, came back to tie the game in the last two minutes. But ultimately, one last goal by the Cobras were the, was the downfall for your Crusaders. Your final here in Tigerville, North Greenville 15, Coker 16. This has been the Crusader Sports Network.